Hello Gear Spaces, this is Garrett from Retro Kids. Uh, we're at uh, Superbooth 21 to show you the uh, RK008 we made. It's a multi-track MIDI recorder. Uh, so on contrary, on, uh, in sequences, you uh, can record, yeah, uh, like every time you want, not on 16 steps or fourth steps. And uh, you have eight tracks which you can fill up with uh, 16 channels of MIDI. So uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun to uh, make recording portable again. Uh, it has uh, two uh, MIDI inputs, two MIDI outputs, which you can use for uh, routing as well. And it has a sync output. Uh, the setup I've made here is a, um, yeah, I mapped uh, different MIDI channels on the different tracks. So I can easily switch output from keys from one channel to another sound. And um, one MIDI channel is also of a port is also powering the RK002. And that one's doing, uh, yeah, the real-time MIDI processing to convert uh, MIDI notes into multi-channel MIDI for the vocal sample, and also with velocity, for example. So this all integrates with the uh, RK008. Um, yeah, well, I probably should show you something about how this uh, thing records. Um, I've uh, prepared a little beat here on track five, which I can uh, I can just play. I can hear it. And uh, if I want to pl uh, play a bass with it, I'll just uh, select on which track I want to use it. I press record, and uh, well, let's go. I'm doing the overdub with pitch bend data. And uh, if I think this is okay, then I just press record to again to accept the recording. And uh, I'll continue on another track. Uh, this one, one. Yeah, fine. And I can also, for example, use a different um, transpose on a track. There are all kinds of operators here. I can. Uh, use the ALT key to use the secondary functions on this uh, key and I'll set the bass to a performance mode and now I can shift it or uh, now um, I could choose to um, enter some hi-hats which would be difficult in real-time recording I can try uh, I select this uh, track here, and um, I'll try to do some hi-hats. And so you hear this is rubbish, but it doesn't matter, because I can also apply quantize later on, and even use a little swing on it, or not, I can go back. And if I think these two drum tracks are nice to get together, then I can just use another function to merge these. So track five and six, enter. And now this is on one track, so I can add even more stuff. Well, let's see, um, I have to change the output again for the mapping. Yeah. And, um, I have to search for my keys here. Yeah, here they are. So, well. I can also omit the recording again when just play stop and try again. Yeah, well, it's uh, kind of in a nutshell what you can do. Maybe I'm going a bit fast with all the possibilities, but there are quite a lot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's like our successor to the MMT-8, which uh, did all this real-time recording uh, 30 years ago, I guess. But we added it uh, in a smaller package and added some real-time stuff to it and, and a battery and stuff. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, pricing? Pricing. Well, we um, think this unit will be around uh, 350. Uh, we're still Euros and we're still uh, examining how to, uh, how to make the enclosure. It depends a bit on, uh, on popularity. So... Uh, but this is our goal to make, and that's the price we aim to uh, achieve. Very cool. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs>